look worried because I'm busting out the don't. Maybe you're not even worried about me. I tend to mistake that. Maybe like a lot of people, maybe you're worried about communist China. <laughs> people are flipping out. They say in 20 years, China will be the world's superpower. I'll tell you what. I'll worry about China when they start adopting American babies. <laughs> right? When we get to send little Brangelina Jr. <laughs> off to a shoe factory for a shot at a better life. <laughs> no need to worry till then. Parents are always worried about their kids, though. Technology's on your side, isn't it? At this point, you know there's a microchip you can place under the scalp of your child and locate them anywhere in the world? Yeah, so if little Johnny gets kidnapped, you can find him. Or at least the head. You can't be picky. Still waiting for that CSI episode. We're gonna find him, man. We're tracking him right now. Boop, 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 boop. He's in a bread box. <laughs> My parents worried about me. I'm great, folks. Oh, they're they're awesome. They're smart and good looking. What did I get? Smart looking. That's not a compliment. Doesn't mean no good at all either. People are always like, hey Dax, can you fix my computer? <laughs> no. Really? Yes, really? Well, then why do you look like that? <laughs> well, it's cheaper than buying a Napoleon Dynamite costume? I don't know. <laughs> don't see it? Try this. Yeah, thanks for that. I should also say, so I'm internet dating after that part. That's about what it takes. Thank you guys for coming out. I'm, this is a great crowd. I'm looking around at the diversity in this town. Always gets me. But really, look around. We have all kinds of white people here. We got older white people and younger white people <laughs> sitting together like it was nothing. <laughs> nah, just because they're a room full of white doesn't mean you're all ignorant. Hey, except that they like to believe we have satellite dishes, we watch other people's TV. <laughs> I bet some of you guys are gonna go home and watch BET after this. <laughs> oh, you guys think it's the gambling channel, bro. <laughs> That's a spelling joke for the five nerds from before. <laughs> now, BET is Black Entertainment Television. It's a great channel. I'll admit I didn't start watching it until I got a black roommate about a year ago. It opened up my eyes, though. It was great. We started watching this show called Comic View, one of the best stand-up comedy shows on TV. I got a huge surprise at the end of one of these episodes. They actually said... BET's All Black Comedy Cabaret is brought to you by Cotton. <laughs> exactly. And they weren't even like Cotton. We're sorry. It's hard for you to laugh. I'm sitting on the couch next to a black guy. I'm like, oh. I think that's funny. I don't know. You know what? Uh, you don't have to pay rent this month. I got it. I'm sorry. I got as much white guilt as the next guy. I don't even know what terms you're supposed to use. It's very confusing. Black, African American. You know what? I want to be politically correct and sensitive, but African American, 
You're making two assumptions. You don't know either of those things. Right? I went to college with black guys from all over the planet. People come up to me and say, who's your African-American friend? I'd be like, Mamadou? He's Portuguese Jamaican. He's about as American as a jalapeno knish. What are you talking about? He's just black. I'll be more comfortable with African American when BET changes their name to African American Entertainment Television. A-A-E-T. Pronounced I. 